gentlemen, we're going to be talking about electric razors versus safety razors today. And I'm going to give you my recommendation on why I think one is better than the other. Starting off, it's going to be an electric razor. I have a Braun Series 7. It's a 790cc um, electric razor. And I will link it down in the description. Everything, all the products you see in this video today, I'll be linking in the description below. So y'all can check them out if you wish. Um, but talking about this thing first, man, it, it actually, I really, really like it. Uh, it has a foil head. It's not the rotating kind with the three rotating circles on the top. This one is the foil uh, head on top. And it has a, an adjustable trimmer that pops up. I will say it's not the best trimmer in the world. I would definitely recommend buying a separate trimmer, such as like a wall or something like that, the, the brand wall, W-A-H-L. Um, but it is there if you need it. And, and it has a couple different settings. You can, you can choose based on the sen sensitivity level of your skin how fast you want this thing to go. Uh, when you turn it on, you can probably hear it. It's, it's pretty powerful. It goes. And, you know, one of, the common, one of the common things that people don't like about electric razors is that they will heat up and it starts to irritate your skin. As you're going, you, know, you start on one side. By the time you get halfway to the other side, the actual head of the razor gets really hot and it can make you feel it's just uncomfortable but this one I feel like they've really improved the the technology and the design this one heats up a little bit I will say it does heat up a little bit but it doesn't burn you it's not uncomfortable uh, again this is the series 7 there's a series 9 that's out bronze series 9 electric razor and I would not recommend it I've seen a lot of reviews on it and they, people say that the quality is simply not there it's not a it's not as heavy or as dense like it's the cheaper materials that they've used on it so even though it's the newer version is the series 9 I definitely recommend the series 7 uh, as you use it you can definitely use it on the the sensitive areas of your skin such as the bottom of your neck uh, it's not going to cut or nick your skin it you can change the angle I mean if you go up and down strokes and then you want to go against the grain and you don't have any issues with that. For me, if I go against the grain, I can get a little bit of acne or something popping up. Uh, so I try and go with the grain, whether I'm using a safety razor or a, a electric razor. However, it's, you can still do it. You're going to get a pretty good close shave, even on the neck, the tough spots, and it's not going to irritate your skin. There's also no way to really cut yourself. With a safety razor or a straight razor, you always have that, uh, that problem of potentially cutting yourself, and then it could get infected. And for me, I come from a place, I actually had a staph infection on my neck uh, many years ago, uh, two, three years ago. And I believe it was from using a razor that was possibly not clean or whatever, but I, I had a cut on my neck and then it got infected somehow. And, and it, it, was, it, it, was, it was terrible. <laughs> it was one of those things where I couldn't shave my face for a long time and it was down on the, the lower part of my neck and so the hair was just growing weird. And, Nobody should wants that experience, I guarantee you. So another cool thing about this electric razor, it's actually self-cleaning. It comes with a charging base that is full of this alcohol solution. And that when, you, when you're done using it, you put it on the base, and it'll, it'll kind of like scan it or whatever and see how dirty it is. And then you push a button, it'll actually self-clean with that alcohol solution and get all the hair out of there. You can clean it yourself. Uh, it, under the sink, you can put it under the water. It's perfectly safe to clean it that way with a brush under water. Just let it dry out all the way. This foil head that's on top with the, the cutters, it actually lasts, the, the manual says it lasts approximately 18 months. And if you're someone who's only shaving, say, three to five times a week versus every day, you can make it last longer. For me, I probably shave two to three times a week on my neck and, like, cheek area. Um, but it's 18 months and then before you have to replace that. To me, that's awesome. You get a perfectly hygienic, clean shave every time because you can clean it on that base. So that cleaning solution actually, according to the manual, it lasts approximately 30 days. But you can make it last longer. If you're, if you're not using the razor, say you're only using the razor four or five times uh, a week, then you could definitely make that, that solution last longer. When I first got this, it was in December and my, I didn't buy a new cleaning solution cartridge until March. So it lasted me almost three months. If you're someone who, who shaves all the time, 
you know, say six, seven days a week, your wife just doesn't like any facial hair or something like that, obviously you're going to be buying a few more of those cartridges uh, ultimately and have a little bit more of a cost. But I'm going to do a cost comparison at the end of this video. Let's jump into the safety razor. So this safety razor is one that I used for about two years. Uh, you know, one of the things about the safety razor is it requires a lot of other products to go along with it. Uh, Pre-shave oil, the shaving cream itself, a badger hair brush, um, the razors, you have to buy the, each the razor. This, this is a double-edged razor, so you have to buy those. It's made by Feather. Once again, it'll be linked down in the description, but uh, you got to buy the razors and the process is long. It's a long process. If you're trying to get ready in the morning and you want to shave in the morning before you go to work, um, it's something where you're, you're sitting there, you're doing the pre-shave oil, you're lathering up the shaving cream, uh, you, you, you're finally shaving and then you're cleaning everything back up for the next go around. I even buy Barberside, I mentioned the hygienicness of the, of the electric razor. That's something that's really important to me. Like I said, I had a staph infection one time. So for me, I want to put this thing down in, in Barberside before I use it. I have a miniature jar, just put it in there, let it soak while I'm in the shower. 10-15 minutes, it'll sanitize it, and then I get out of the shower, and it's ready to go for me to shave. So the money comparison on these, the electric shaver is approximately $170, and that's the startup fee. What, what you're going to pay in a, in, a, in a year's time when you're buying those cartridges, the alcohol car cartridges, is at very maximum $57 a year, and that's if you were to buy three four-packs, so they come in a four-pack, and if you were to buy three of those four packs a year, then you could, you would be up to $57. In comparison, the safety razor is $112 for the startup. And that's including your buy-in, if you have this, the whole setup that I got. It's the uh, barbicide jar, the actual barbicide, the pre-shave oil, shaving cream, the actual ra safety razor itself, the razors that it requires, a set of 50. Uh, and by the way, those last about one week before you have to dispose of those, those razors, the double-edged razors. And to maintain what you have annually, it's going to cost you about $80 a year. And that's with buying pre-shave oil again, shaving cream, and keeping up with your razor blades. So ultimately, the startup cost for the, for the electric razor is more. But by your second year, you're already going to be saving money. And you're saving just a ridiculous amount of time uh, by using the electric razor versus the safety razor. So some of the things that are, it is important to say, the safety razor can give you a slightly closer shave. However, for me, the safety, the, excuse me, the electric razor gives a close enough shave. It it's definitely meets my, my uh, expectations and requirements. One more cool thing about the electric razor is that the manual actually recommends to use it before you clean your face. So before you shower, you can be, I mean, I've been super sweaty from working out or whatever it is. And I, I just quickly electric razor shave my face and then jump in the shower and use like a looper or something to get any excess hair off. And it really doesn't leave any excess hair. I mean, it's almost like it like vacuums it into the cartridge of the, uh, by the, the foil and the razor blade. It just does a great job. And it, like I said, there's no chances of getting cut by it. So it's not like if you're really dirty or you know, you've been in jujitsu or you're whatever and you don't want to get a staph infection. Like, oh, I gotta clean my face really good before I shave in case I cut myself. I don't wanna get infected. Again, with the, with the safety razor, I would always, personally, I would shower first so that my skin was as clean as possible before I would use it. And that way, if I did cut myself, there was less, less of a potential for me to get an infection. So once again, guys, I will link all these products down below. Uh, ultimately, I have to say that the electric razor is the better of the two. And let me know down in the comments what you think, your, uh, your experiences with these types of things. And I'll see you next time.